What If is uh, the new Disney Plus series that has come on. Um, it is this time it's animated, and it's about all about the What If, which is um, basically which was a huge comic series that Marvel did, all about these different stories. Basically, you know, you could do whatever you want, you know, completely no consequences. Like really, you know, comic book writers could just go free. I think that, you know, with this series of What If, I think they should have released at least the first two episodes. Um, I think, because the, the first two, the, this first one's about Peggy Carter, and then the next one's about T'Challa, who's going to be, what if T'Challa was Star-Lord? I think those are kind of base-level concepts of inverse of the story you already know, that I think those would have been two perfect episodes to drop, just to establish you of, like, what is this what if, and get you mm. familiar with it. What did, what did you guys think about kind of the story and everything like that? Well, first off, uh, please step on me, Peggy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> second um i i love the animation of this uh i think it's a really cool concept but for me one of the weaker aspects of it is some of the voice acting it, it feels like it, it doesn't feel as natural even though we especially on the part of like sebastian stan who is reprising his role as Bucky oh, Bones. god he didn't want to be there at all <laughs> uh, it, yeah some of it feels unnatural and I think a lot of the emotion, a lot of it's missed by certain people not returning because it's well known. Chris Evans did not come back for this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Chris Evans isn't coming back. RDJ is not back. Uh, um, Dave Batista apparently isn't doing a voice for uh, for the show. And I think something's just missing there. Sebastian, what did you think about this? I well, yeah, I'm one of those special people that I saw the first three episodes. Uh, what the hell? What the fuck? How, how the hell did you get the hookup? Who you know? What yeah, the yeah. fuck? I, I hang out with film critics and stuff. You know those people. I won't say much. Who's I won't say. Dick, did you suck to get the first three episodes? <laughs> you motherfucker! I, I, I won't say. I won't say much, but I do agree that if the first three episodes came out together, it would have been much, much better because I think. The thing that was missing for this episode was kind of a more inventive voice with it, kind of just more creative with, with the plot, with, the, with the, what you have, because this was basically just the first movie all over again, and I was like, I just already, hmm. I've seen the story before, I know I know what's going to happen, it's like, it's like a condensed version of the first movie, which I did not enjoy, it just felt like we're treating the same steps over and over again, if, if they kind of took a different direction, it would have been much more exciting for me, more entertaining, but it's like, I'm just seeing the first movie. I'm not even a big fan of that first movie anyway, so I'm like, why are we doing this? this I, don't, I just don't care. Um, I do agree to voice acting. It's kind of pretty weak. Even Peggy Carter, which I think uh, Haley Atwell reprised her role for this uh, yep. episode. Yep. I felt that she was kind of weak in this episode, too. I felt that she... Maybe she, it was maybe, like you said, unnatural. Maybe she's just not used to doing some voice acting. Or maybe she just wasn't didn't like the material that much, and she was like, eh, whatever, I guess I'll get the money, and let's just do this episode, this 30-minute thing, I'm done. But I didn't feel, even, like, some of the voice acting is a little, a little over the top, even, I mean, Jeffrey Wright, I love him, but, man, he's a little too much for me. <laughs> and the show, like, he's a little over the top, like, what if? <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. I was like, calm it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and who, uh, oh, uh, Howard Stark, whoever played him, I was like, uh, I mean, he's Dominic trying. Uh, Dominic Cooper, yeah. I think he he reprised his role uh, from the movies. Is, the was that him? Uh, it yeah. felt like it was somewhat imitating him. I was like, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, let me check to make sure, well. but I believe that was him. I, let me check to make sure. But uh, go ahead. It was strange, and and there also some strange like casting choices. I think um, Bradley Whitford was in this. In the episode, I think. Yep. The general guy. Yeah, he was. It was weird. It was like, why don't you play as Tom Lee Jones? I mean, why are we playing this other new character? That's weird. Uh, he was know. good. He's, he was fine, but I was like, I don't <laughs> know. The voice acting is a little weird. I kind of have to disagree a little bit with the animation. It's just, mm. I know what they're, I know what they're getting at. They, they want to get more close to the live action style and not make it too. Separated from that, they still want to because it is apparently this is still tied into the MCU. I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. as to how, yeah, but yeah, uh, it's just it feels a little bit like Telltale games, but worse. It just doesn't mm -hmm. look too good for me. Okay. We'll say it does, it does get better later on, I will say that. But for this episode, it's like uh, I, felt, I felt like I was watching a, a short 
Disney Animation Studios film. It just didn't look too good. I was like, eh, it could have been mm. a little... Okay. Uh, but also, the, it was too short. Like, 30, 30 minutes of the thing is pacing was a little off. It's like we're trying to cram everything. Like, boom, 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 boom. Let's get it done in 30 minutes. Like, if it was a little, maybe 50 minutes, maybe you could have had more time to breathe in with the characters. And like, all right, like, I'm more I'm, I'm more in sync with what's going on. But it was 30 minutes. I felt like everything. I don't have time to know these characters well. Uh, although we already know these people but this is like a newer version of them so i would have liked to get to know them more get to know more even peggy carter as you know as the mm. as the captain which i felt like was super yeah. quick and we were, we're in and we're out i was like i don't know i think we add more time and just a better concept or maybe it was concept but make it or explore more with this with these ideas it just felt like creativity mm. was not there <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, I definitely think the episodes are the episode is too short uh, yeah. because 30, 30 minutes I don't think is enough time. I wish they went with more of that hour long episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Should have. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, yeah, that's part of my reason for saying that they should do the first two episodes because, like I said, these, I mean, the story is just the inverse of the story you already know. It's just literally just you know, what if Peggy was Cap Captain America and not Steve, and and it is telling the story of the first Avenger. Uh, over again and just in swapping out the things and the whole kind of element they bring in to it of like well you know now that peggy carter she is you know she took the super soldier serum is that okay she's gonna face a lot of sexism and that's the reason they won't put her on the front line mm -hmm. as the hero mm -hmm. as opposed to when steve took it it was just because like well you're the prized you know you're the golden goose you know what i mean we gotta do constant experiments and put you on the uso tour you know what i mean you're gonna be with the chorus girls you know what i mean that's what you do you're just going to be a pure marketing tool. You know, with her, it was just like, well, you know, you're just a woman. I mean, you know, we're not going to take you seriously. And Bradley Whiffer, hmm. who I didn't even really remember was in the first Avenger, honestly. I didn't even really remember his character kind of being in that movie. I just. Is the first movie? Uh, I, I don't think he was. I don't remember him. I think he was okay. supposed to be playing Tom Lee Jones' character, but that's not okay. him. Well, so, like, if, uh, Nick, if you could just uh, look that up real quick for me. Uh, well, I just talk real quick because I I, I I thought he was. I thought mm -hmm. I looked it up and thought he was. If you could look that up real quick, but uh, yeah, um, you know the voice acting. Yeah, it did it did seem kind of very almost like drive by voice acting where it was kind of like they just kind of ran in the booth real quick and was like, okay, let me tell you these lines and then let me just kind of <laughs> run out. Um, like Sebastian Stan, it was like, yeah, I mean, it was like you know he was just kind of wow. just like I I gotta come in because I have to come in and then. You know mm -hmm. what I mean, and I just have to say these lines. Um, Haley Atwell is is coming back as Peggy Carter. I love Haley Atwell, uh, just in general, and just as Peggy Carter. I was one of the fifty people that watched Agent Carter TV show. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I watched it. You know, I wish it. I wish it got more seasons. Um, but there's even some people who you know after seeing this episode, they're calling for you know, her to come back as a live action uh, Captain Carter for them to introduce that character there. Um, when mm -hmm. it comes to the action and, like you said, the movements of the animation and the feeling like you're like telltale, I kind of feel like that sometimes, like when the characters would be walking, sometimes it would feel very stiff and very much like kind of like that oh. telltale. Yeah, like sometimes, like you would kind of walk and what they would do there. I was like, yeah, it does kind of look very stiff and some of the you stuff. Even that they... action stuff is like, oh, yeah, right, that's going to be a little better. Uh, yeah, some of the action stuff I thought was, yeah, I mean, I thought, yeah, it could have been a little bit better, could have been a little bit more effective. Uh, the animation, it kind of looks like it's, it feels like this cross between like, a little bit looks like this Pixar animation, but it's very, very much like computer, um, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it kind of just kind of like washes that kind of animation out because it does look good, you know, but it just also looks just very very much like in a computer that this is that this is designed yeah. in you know that doesn't just doesn't look all that sometimes appealing all that much if that makes any sense if i'm mm. what i'm saying makes sense it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stand out it just looks like i don't know but these designs are just yeah yeah uh yeah very much so um so you know the stuff you know they they kind of do um you know like i said it is very quick they're trying to jam pack it with all this you know stuff basically condense you know that movie into this 30 minutes um and you know i i think that you know not having some of the bigger people back like chris evans robert down jr is not going to be back uh but you know you have other you know kind of other people like chadwick boseman and chris hemsworth i don't know if it was just like just because robert down jr and chris evans their deals are done so they're like okay well i guess i don't have to really come back if i don't want to i don't have to do this you know what i mean i don't have to come back but 
it, I don't know if it, you know, it kind of does lose something a little bit when you have certain people who are voicing their same characters, but then you have other people who are playing the bigger ones, you know, that that, that aren't. It, you know what I mean? It is. It does kind of feels like it does lose something there. But um, you are in Sola. He sounded like that's not. No, uh, who's his name? Uh, that no, was that was him. That yeah. was him. that was Tommy him. Jones. Yep, that was him. Yeah, that was him. I, I guess the acting with, uh, all around this episode was just not there. Like, I was like, <laughs> damn, these voices. What the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> yeah, like uh, Stanley Tucci, he's back um, as the Doctor. Yeah, yep, he's back. Uh, yep, voice Dominic Cooper, he's back. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and Samuel Jackson, he's back as Nick Fury. He shows up um, yeah. in the episode as well. Um, Josh Keaton is the one that's voicing Steve Rogers. Um, he, he yeah, and he's like, credited as Skinny Steve Rogers yeah. just for insult to injury. <laughs> yeah, Skinny Steve Rogers. Yeah, um, he was yeah. good. He, he sounded like Chris Evans for the most mm-hmm. part. Like, he, yeah, yeah, like even the guy who voices like um, uh, Tony Stark, uh, he sounds kind of like you know uh, Robert Downey Jr. adjacent. You know, it sounds like mm-hmm. if you can't if you can't get Robert Downey Jr., this is kind of a good because he seems like he gets his inflections down pretty nice. And this is just for me mm-hmm. watching like the trailers. This isn't for me. I'm not privileged like mm-hmm. Sebastian. I don't see you know episodes early. <laughs> this is just me, you know, from the from the episodes. With all of the potential that this uh, that this show has, that of exploring this multiverse, and by all accounts, this is canon now. The events that mm-hmm. happen in the show could affect the future of the MCU, especially considering how Loki is. Mm-hmm. Um, but that being said, this first episode, it's fun. I had uh, some fun moments, but it's on the weaker uh, Marvel TV, Marvel's uh, TV yeah. series so far. Mm. I hope it. Uh, I hope it drastically uh, gets better with the next two episodes that I haven't seen yet. Fuck you, Sebastian. <laughs> 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 but yeah. for me i'd say i'd give this premiere a solid six out of ten i i don't have the same complaints you do about the animation i like the the distinct look that it's going for i kind of i'm a fan of that cell shading um and um uh, and the action i thought was uh fine so for me six out of ten six out of ten just for this premiere yeah i kind of i'm kind of agree with you sitting there and i I wasn't a big fan of this episode. I didn't really like it, but I can't say it's bad, so I gotta stay with that. Mm-hmm. Like, it's okay. I think, again, just if you had more creativity in there, and some more fun with the concept, the idea of actually seeing Captain Carter, whatever the name is, I, yeah. I just, we didn't see that fully, like, mm-hmm. like realize. It's just, we, if we had maybe more time, or just maybe more ideas to work with, it could have been more fun. Just, it was very... Very weak, but I will say that it does get better later on. I will say third episode is the best. I'll say like right now. Yeah. Um, mm. But that's where I feel like the creativity is there. But in here, it's just like if I didn't see those first those two episodes later, I would have been very, very optimistic about the series. I would have not been excited about the future. But knowing what happens later, I'm, I'm like, all right, this is, mm. I'm eager to see what happens next. But for this episode, man, not a good start. I don't know, not the best, not the best, but uh, six out of ten. Um, yeah, I would have to agree with you guys. I give it a six. Um, you know, I, you know, I like Haley Atwell. I like her coming back, uh, voicing the character Peggy. Um, it's, you know, I mean, she's been throughout the character of Peggy, I've been that throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, her, even, you know, after her first appearance in First Avenger, like you said, she had her on one shot, she had her on a TV show, she's reappeared in other movies, you know, uh, in, like, in game, like, you know, uh, the Winter Soldier. Um, so, it's it's good to see her again um, in a different kind of context, but yeah, the, like you said, we've been talking about the episode and stuff, just an inverse of the story we already know, and it's just so kind of crammed with you know trying to jam. It's the first movie, but just condensed into the kind of thirty minutes, um, and it's like uh, I, I just think you know it, it's a good solid just opener, maybe in the way that it's like it just quickly introduces the premise and kind of sets up kind of what the whole premise is about and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, I yeah I would kind of give it a yeah just kind of me just a solid six.